Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. <coughs> oh, death. I'm dying. Anyways, of the <laughs> of the new set file, we're back again. Um, I just I've just eaten, and apparently, recording a video straight after just does not agree with me. Um, so that's kind of fun. Uh, anyways, we're gonna jump in this time as a polyon. We've done like absolutely nothing as a polyon, so why not do a little bit as him? I'm gonna take a risk right off the bat. Risk the streak. Risk the lovely streak. Um. And so far, I think it's been a pretty worthwhile risk. Um, we've gotten a self a black heart. I like it. Two pills should both gonna be positive. You see? Oh ho ho ho, baby! You could not want anything better in a first secret room apart from goat head or any item. But still, <clears throat> that was really good. What the hell is this? A large hit's actually pretty good. It, um. The shots deal two times damage, which I didn't know for the longest time. Uh, but <clears throat> the zit shots do good damage, and I like that. Either way, as for the question of the day today, I don't know. I've just I've just eaten and my brain's foggy because I had a large, large, large meal. Um, also, this is this room is actually disgusting. Like they have spectral and I don't. Do you know what? No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not playing that. Be oh, dude. This, yeah, this room's horrible. <laughs> Thank God we had that bomb there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, my brain's a bit foggy from having just eaten a big old fat curry. I actually, I went a bit ham. So in the last episode, I spoke about the fact that I ran a half marathon today, which I'm very proud of. But that also meant that <clears throat> I'm able to eat more calories than regular today because I've done a lot of exercise. And I was craving. So I ended up having, uh, let's crack that open and then that one open. Uh, I ended up having a... <clears throat> lamb madras curry in a kebab, which was quite large, but very, very, very nice. Uh, but now my brain is full of food. <clears throat> so the question of the day today will be, what's the most you've ever eaten and why? I think that's a, an interesting one. I <clears throat> I have had a few, a few different experiences with uh, ridiculous amounts of food. <clears throat> um... One is uh, on like my eight, I think it's like my 18th birthday, 17th birthday, something like that. I can't remember exactly now. Um, my parents brought me to a, <clears throat> like a, a, it was in the UK, but it was like a US style diner. And basically, it, do you know how like you see like sometimes it's like TV shows taking the piss out of America and they're like, oh, we've got this US diner. They're going to serve you your food with a gun. And <laughs> so it was kind of one of those sort of places where it was really over the top and stupid. Um, and the they had a burger challenge that was <clears throat> like an actual plate sized burger, like the burger bun and burger like beef patty was plate sized. And the top bun had been completely hollowed out and filled with chips or fries, if you want to call them that. Um, <clears throat> and it came with like a big thick milkshake as well. And yeah, you had to eat that in like under an hour. And I did everything apart from the bread. Because, uh, dude, honestly, the, the, it was literally like an entire loaf of bread. It was absolutely insane. Do you know what? I'm pretty happy to have lost my black heart in this room. <laughs> Not ideal, but I'll be honest, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and I'll try and move this over here and get some stuff going on with this. Right, this is going to be slightly tedious, but I need to put on the better collisions, better TNT collision mod again. Makes them move more like stone chests, it's way better. Okay, and then last one, we'll do this one over here. <clears throat> and then we've got to try and not get hit till the end of the floor, which is going to be a little difficult. This was trash. I got nothing out of that. Sadly, I got nothing out of that. That was close. Oh, fuck you. Luckily, the Rotten Heart does stop us from losing our Devil Deal, but puts us in a slightly awkward spot for HP, I will admit. Slightly awkward spot for HP. We've got six bombs. I would say with six bombs, we've got a half-decent chance at just bombing our way through the boss fight. As long as it's not some really hard Fiend Folio boss, which I'm sure it's going to be now that I've said that, we should be okay. <clears throat> Okay, luckily it's a boss that we benefit highly from using bombs on. Lovely. Makes our life easier. 
I'm going to take Angel Deal here because I'm not a fan of my current HP. And pills have been good for us so far, so I'll stick with it. And we're going to go try and get a key now. That was fucking close. Oh my god. I took my hand off my keyboard uh, to itch my nose and just carried on walking. That was very close. Wow. Very big my bad on that one. Very, very big my bad. Gonna need some HP game because it's looking like I'm gonna die. Gotta admit, not a big fan of the alarming amount of B-based rooms that we're getting at the minute. And the ghosty fellas on top of that too. It's not it's not good. Don't don't like it. Really, you gotta place it there. Okay, we're in the safety zone now. We are in the safety zone. Take care of these annoying ass ghosts. Oh, dude, just, just stop moving, please. There's a heart. Okay, God, I, honestly, the food has kermed me. It's kermed me. But yeah, that's one of the times. Um, another time is... Um, kind of recently, actually, uh, me and my girlfriend went and did a, a chocolate challenge at a place called Slattery's, which is like a chocolatier's. That was an enormous amount of food. I didn't actually eat a lot of it like during the challenge, but you get to doggy bag it and bring it home. And I finished it throughout the day. But overall, like the amount of food I ate that day was was very high. It was a, a very, very large amount of food. Um, quite, quite obscene, actually. Still no key, unfortunately. A little upset about the key, Sitch. Come on now, game. This is a bit bit not okay, isn't it? Um, secret room is probably here. Ah, oh, bugger you, game. I guess we're getting planetarium chance. But I'm not very happy about it, I'll be honest. I'm not very happy about it at all. Right. Down we go, I guess. No shop, no item room. No happy. Ah, uh, we got some good items on the first floor, at least. No lasers for you, thanks. Oh, and look what it is. The game always goddamn does this. <clears throat> always breaks your heart. <sighs> Another one. Oh, dude, I, I expected his triple shots to be way more split up than that, and I was going to, like, sort of dive between them. Didn't work that way. But yeah, definitely there's been other situations in my life where I've eaten a lot. Um, been intoxicated in any way, shape, or form. Um, is, a, is a good way to end up eating way too much. Sometimes it just makes you absolutely ravenous for a takeaway or any other food for that matter. Oh, for God. This is... Why am I getting such hard rooms? Or is it just that my stats are kind of crappy? But I feel like these rooms are really rough. Like, fucking mushroom boys, bugger off. There's no room for you in this goddamn place. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, I guess we'll suck this up. It's not very good to suck up though, I'll be honest. Because it adds charges to the item that it wouldn't have otherwise had. <clears throat> Let's go to our shop real quick. Oh god, I'm so full. <clears throat> oh, hello. Oh, you... Why? Why is that allowed? Also, why is this allowed? What a... Hmm. What a, Apollyon, you are... You are in my bad books right now. This run is trash. This run is a garbage fire full of dumpsters. Fuck you with your trash, Isaac. It upsets me deeply. Right, 
Boom bow. Golden key, that's great after having used two keys and not had keys in the last floor, but there you go. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. My damage stat is not great here either. All upset spaghetti for us. <clears throat> One minute. Apologies, I just have to cough real quick. Oh, dude, did he just seriously go invincible the moment? Nah. Nah. Don't do that often. That run. I hate it. I hate that run. That run was gross. Roll me again, please. I want another run that's more enjoyable and fun, please. Draw bomb. You're not starting us out very, very positive here. Not on a very positive note at all. But we shall prevail. Ooh, look, a key that I can't access. Oh, goddamn. Frustration and anger is all I know. Honestly, I, I'm just... What the fuck? That hit me twice. That one hit was worth two hits. Oh, dude! Fucking die, Apollyon. No, fuck you. You're stupid. <laughs> this character's bullshit. <laughs> Why am I so bad at him? <laughs> it's like literally got nothing to do with the character, but I just can't play him. Don't, don't, don't you dare get hit by one of these clotties. Don't you dare. I think the food has has done me in. I've overdone it. I've I've overextended, and I am nothing but a, a husk. I can't. I can't. I can't attack this guy. Bollocks! How am I meant to avoid that? Destroy more rocks, please. This guy's a nightmare. This guy's an actual nightmare. I can't fucking... Ugh. The anger that I have today for this game. Th this is the same day as the previous recording. Bear, bear in mind. What is this crap? Just die. I didn't even get hot bombs. <clears throat> Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> Game. With my limited free time, you, you, you're supposed to be better than- what, what is this? What is this? Okay. Okay. I understand now. <clears throat> Why? Why? <clears throat> Why wouldn't I take it though? Come on now. <clears throat> The game giveth me trash, I taketh trash. I actually quite like Stranger Tractor, to be honest, but it's still not good. Just because I like it doesn't make it a good item. <clears throat> it's just a funky item. I like funky items. But also, Repentance made it way, 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 way better. Right. God damn that fire. It do cause a bit of lag. Do cause a bit of lag. Got a bunch of these little freaks. They apparently take two hits to kill, which is really surprising. Them a e, nice bit of extra change for us there. Love that. Okay, lots of champions about as well. That's not not helping. It's not at all helping. Just clotties as well. Luckily, the clotties are pretty light, so they get attracted to my shots pretty easily. I can just kind of shoot in their general vicinity. Lemon party would have been good for the boss there, but. I did not know. Boom, bow. That was pretty awesome. GMO card is good. We'll take it. We got a um, thingy in there. One that lets us see all the secret rooms.
We'll take the Psy Hunter. Thank you. I don't know why the Psy Hunter doesn't have the little hearts above his head. Oh, great. Super useful. Ah, I'll gamble on this. Heck. Gamble was bad. Right, to the next floor. Let's see if we can actually get some good stuff done here. But who knows? Who the hell knows? Hmm. What does the base level version do? It just killed something. Oh no, get this. It, what was it? Necronomicon, maybe? There you go. We'll use this version for now. The thing is, I'm, I'm curious, actually. So, that's a four room charge black heart, right? But I take double damage while I'm holding it. But if it's in a delirious book. Am I technically still holding it or not? Like, I'm not, if it's not the active selected thing. Health up as well. Okay, this run's going way better now. I ditched Void and I'm so much happier for it. Ditching Void. The best decision I ever made. Calm down, you lot. We got Bookworm going on as well. It's nice. And yeah, I love this Delirious book. I think it's awesome. Imagine getting this with Library Card. Holy shit, that'd be awesome. You'd literally have access to every single book in the game. In fact, I'm going to have to check shops in case that happens now. No, no, no. So yeah, I use this and I get a Black Heart. Yeah. I need to actually take damage to figure out if the other part of it works. So, in theory, I'll lose a full black heart in one hit. Should I just test it out? Nah, I'll just wait until I get hicks. Otherwise, I'm wasting a black heart realistically, aren't I? A tiny bit of healing after that, why not? Good. Not been to the item room yet. I was thinking we had, but that was just the library. But yeah, I was actually really excited to void all the books, and I realized, nope, I don't need to. I have Delirium. What about that trinket as well, or item that improves all the books' effects too? That'd be crazy. I only took half a black heart. Okay, this is an insane combo. This is an insane combo. I gain the benefit of being able to generate black hearts without the downside of double damage. That's crazy good. Ow. Devil Deal is certainly plausible here for us. Um, Little Lamb is annoying. Bloody Lust I'll take. Little Lamb's good though because it is charge shot and it does allow you to blow up uh, walls for secret rooms and stuff. So it is generally pretty decent. We can look for secret room wherever it might be here. I think it's up here. Nope. Got a fool's gold rock going though, why not? Where the hell's the secret room at? Where the hell is it? Three dollar bill's pretty lovely. I like three dollar bill quite a lot. Where the hell the secret room at? There you go, we got it. Wow. Secret room's kind of trash. I'm guessing there's buttons hidden in here, maybe? There's A button. Not terrible. Not great. Okay. No one needs to use a key here. 
We don't we didn't even need to go in there. I might as well take a battery because that's like a bunch of uh, black hearts. There you go. That's awesome. That's so powerful. Holy shit. Right, let's keep it going. That is so goddamn powerful. Even just with these two books, we've got a winning combination. Okay, it's also going to be nice to use a little lamb here and there for uh, damage on enemies. Of course, it's not super reliable, but it doesn't do crazy good damage, but it's extra that helps. Oh, but there is going to be situations like that where I hurt myself. The good thing is, though, we have Bloody Lust now, so if we do hurt ourselves, there is a somewhat benefit to us for doing so. Giz, giz. Good, good. Check out the shop again when, whenever we can. We're rolling in money right now. We've got a little electric zapper boy. Doubles our bombs. We really don't care about bombs, so just do it. Um, Kind of an interesting room there. Got a mini boss here as well. Nine lives? Nine lives I'd, I'd accept. Oh, bloody. Hurt myself again. Oh, dude, I'm taking double damage right now. I've got the wrong book out. Yeah, I got nine lives. And I got a health up as well. Nice. Yeah, I had the wrong book out, so I was still taking double damage. My bad. Oh, my God. Honestly, I'm so glad that I've got bloody lust. Otherwise, this would really piss me off. Luckily, I'm gaining some level of benefit out of hurting myself constantly. Because it's going to happen, like, two or three times a floor if I'm trying to use this guy for combat. Which, which I am. I could just use him for, like, in between rooms and never let go of the fire button otherwise. But I don't want to be soft. Dude, this is so strong. So goddamn strong. Hey, we got the rework of Mr. Chubb himself, Mr. Chad, even whatever he's called. He can still eat bombs. Awesome. I was curious to see if he could. And we get this little fella. Obviously not that valuable to us, but we will bring him along for the ride. We'll let him uh, let him stick with us for a bit. Try and find secret room as we make our way here. Second secret room, that is. We've already found regular. But yeah, this run has got some sauce. You give away void, everything goes well. All you gotta do is give away a void. Another golden key. Game's really just throwing them at us at the moment, isn't it? Ow. Oh no, what a loss. <laughs> Here comes another. Another one. Good thing is as well, because of how this active storage works, we can store multiple charges. If we don't get hit for a bunch of rooms, we can store up a bunch of black hearts for later. Kind of, kind of crazy, actually. Right, what you got for us? That seems incredible for this. Might as well take a battery charge as well. Being able to overcharge this thing, it basically means we can just hold an absolute shit ton of black hearts. We can probably just use black hearts for any old shit that we want to use it for now, like blood donation machines, whatever. Uh, yes. Not great. Right, let's get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle, vamoosh. But yeah, if we can overcharge this thing, it's game over for HP. Did we not just pass through this room? Am I stupid? Have I got Curse of the Maze? No? I didn't. I'm stupid. I'm just stupid is all. Right, to the next floor. But yeah, I really like this delirious mimic book thing. It's not not many not many modded things have taken advantage of the um, the book of virtues effects thing. There's only like this item and one other that I know of. I think not even one other. I don't think. But yeah, it's it's an underutilized thing. I think it's pretty darn cool that uh, someone's found a way to use it in a in a really interesting way. And we can indeed overcharge this as well. So this is. This is a bit crazy. Oh, wait, we just, we straight up just don't take double damage at all. 
Okay, that, that is Necronomicon right there. I just, I just have to test it. But yeah, we straight up just don't take double damage because technically we're not holding this book, I think. We're just getting the effect of said book. Awesome. And... Active item. No, thank you. All I want is book, 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 no matter what. Secret room. Lovely. Didn't mean to use that key there. Whoops. It is what it is. To be fair, what we're getting out of it is actually pretty valuable, but not what I intended to do either way. Shoppeth, where art thou? We have spending change for you. $3 bill giving us quad shot there. Kind of confused the hell out of me for a hot minute. Oh, dude. Little lamb, you're doing some good stuff right now. Mary had a little lamb. Think about that. Think about that. Mary had a little one of these. A little lamb. That's crazy. What a psycho bitch. What you doing with one of these? Mary needs to explain herself, I think. And then that pill. Ugh. Was bound to happen. Right. Uh, we haven't been to our shop yet. We should probably go to our shop. I'm going to bet that it's all the way down here. Also, hello. Did not see you before. Not that we need HP, because we have literally unlimited, but... Oh, dude. <laughs> Roll films, decent. D8? Ah, uh, I think that's a bit risky. I don't think we really need to take that. Right. Let us go. I can't believe we have nine lives on top of all of this crap. Only thing is, he, Little Lamb's like really far back in the queue of familiars. So I'm having kind of a hard time getting him to hit what I want to hit. Okay, we'll be fine. Tried to throw a bomb in his gob there, but it didn't quite work. Troll bombs? No thank you. Useless bomb there. I didn't mean to even put that down, really. I mean, I did mean to, but there was no need. And there's you taken out as well, baby. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Yes, and yes. Why not? Good, good, good. Why did we fire a euthanasia shot then? Was that a $3 bill? I didn't know that was a $3 bill effect. Obviously it is, though. Obviously it is. Yeah, we are all on black hearts now. Oh my god. I don't even read what the joy item does. I just... I can take anything I want now. It don't matter. It don't goddamn matter. I am stacked. Oh, it gives us double damage, doesn't it, if we get hit in the room. Four penny? I don't think so. Right, keep it moving. Yeah, I'm probably not going to really mess around with the joy pills all too much. I don't really see the need. Good thing is as well here, we've got this Scorched Earth thing, which can be a detriment normally, but we have so much health that I don't really care. But we can destroy these to gain the Wisps with our Explodey Boy. It's a good active, but I don't need it. Yeah, damn, we are destroying. We are destroying, baby. I love it. This is a, a rather wacky run. It's got some very niche synergies, but they're working out pretty well.
They're working out pretty darn well, I'd say. Yeah, we're going to get one of those joy pills pretty much every room now, aren't we? But I ain't going to use them. Honestly, I could use my black hearts for damage. I still have so many. I'm not sure what to think of the noise when I use my joyful pill. It's slightly spooky. Hey, getting all those wisps going on for us. Oh, dude. Little lamb, can you? There you go. Actually shoot where I want to shoot, thanks. But yeah, now, now we've got double the reason to actually get hit, because Joyful's going to do stuff for us as well. Beautiful. Keep it moving. Where's... We've not seen that item room shop or boss yet. It's kind of crazy. So here's our boss at least. Thank Depths 1, we might as well just do the boss. Pop the Joyful pill. Like I said, I'm not going to use them much, but what that double damage. Little geesh. Why not? Back to full health, baby. <laughs> Back to full health, baby. Don't mean nothing to me. I don't even want black powder. It was just like, why not? Why not take it? There you go. Ow. A little bit of a hit there. That's fine. Might as well check this out. It's no harm to us. Lots of extra pennies. I quite like. Accidentally left one behind. Come on, item room and shop. Why you gotta be so far away? Put a bit of rubber, baby. Peach creep. I love peach creep. Shop items can be bought even when not afforded, which means we can... Buy that. Right. Away we go. On our way to the boss. God damn, our floors have been artificially quite long just due to, like, backtracking and stuff. It's been kind of a pain, actually. I've actually got to take a pause from this episode in about 12 minutes. I've got a, a call that I need to go on. That I was hoping to be done with this episode by the time it rolled around. But we had a bit of a false start, and I, I was... I was thinking let's just stick with a run, it's rough, but oh well. But I was like, nah, I'd rather give you guys a good run. And a good run was had by all. A good run was had by all. I'm trying to think what else we want on this run now. Just more tier effects, potentially. I mean, obviously $3 bill is covering that pretty well, but not like... Obviously, it's random, so we can't always get the tier effects we want. So getting some static tier effects that we're always going to have would be pretty useful. Good. That's our full card if we wanted it. I don't think we do. We've already unlocked Tainted Apollyon, so we don't need to do the beast fight. Some boom in there. Out of debt now. Beautiful. That was quick. I was only in a debt of two, so... Wasn't exactly going to take that long, but still. <laughs> still nice to be out of debt regardless. Oh no, I got hit. What am I ever going to do? What will I ever do? Things are going to get a little trickier when it gets to the wound, but... Still not tricky. Oh, dude. I'm really annoyed that for some reason the lamb stays, like, the furthest back in your chain. He's always the furthest away in the chain of, uh, familiars. Which is good for not hurting yourself. It reduces the chance of you hurting yourself. But in actually using him, it makes him not very accurate. It's kind of hard to fully take advantage of. 
Here's our shop. We don't have any money for the shop, but we do have free shops uh, with the penalty thing we've got going on. I'm okay, so at least check it out. For example, tarot reading is well worth, well worth the negative 15. Oh, dude, that guy, like, downgrades into that. It's kind of funny. Would have thought it'd be the other way around. Yeah, he's super hard to hit now because he's so far back. But we are clearing out rooms pretty quick regardless. Why are we so small now? What time did I get that makes me small? Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, we can get some boss teleports with tarot reading. It's normally the best thing you can do with it, in my opinion. Anyhow. Cool. Ah, I fucking missed the item room. I forgot this was mum. It's fine. We don't exactly need it. Worse on this floor as well, because we can't get a planetarium. Oh, bugger. Didn't even see that coming. Okay, we got that going. We will take the negative, I think. We got a devil deal as well. we'll check that out. Fortunately, it's only Krampus. We have the health to do anything we want, so... Krampus is a little bit of a bummer. What the hell happened there, my guy? Lump of coal is good, at least. Right, down we go. Please give us a boss teleport. That would make me so happy. Yes! Boss teleport. Life is easier when you don't have to do the bullshit boss. The bullshit floor, even. You do have to do the bullshit boss still. I keep taking damage, but who cares? <laughs> um, I really don't think either of those are that valuable to us. Come on, boss teleport again. You can do it. You can do it. No, no secret room. Ah, secret room. It's not a bad secret room, though. Uh, oh my god, it's a very good secret room. We get mini bombs, which is amazing. We get that, we get Head of the Keeper, and we get either, how much damage is this? Just plus one, or we get Brain Worm, which... What is better, actually? Brain Worm's probably better. We have the Mini Bombs thing? Goddamn, Mini Bombs is really strong. We can make up by debt now as well, by, uh... Killing enemies and getting coins. Stay out the way of all that crap. Yeah, Brainworm's kind of lovely, actually. I made a good choice. I wonder if it works on my familiars. I don't think it does. I think Brainworm, brainworm affects them. Be interesting if it did, but yeah, I doubt it. Pick and get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm hoping this is the way to the boss. I feel it feels about right. This is the most like easy breezy run ever. <laughs> Just absolutely cursing on through. This does seem very much like it's going to be the uh, the way to the boss room. Yeah. I had a feeling, ooh ooh, that this run's gonna be a good run. God, remember that song was on all the time, everywhere. It was awful. Of right, now, now the hope is, for one, we can kill her quick and get past a few of her phases, which it looks like we've done exactly that. Nah, bugger. I, I thought this was only in the first half of her HP that she could do this attack, but sadly it seems like it's not. got you killed though. Now we've got to hope we get boss teleports on the next two floors here. We'll take that. Good. And we go down and please, please, please boss teleport. Please boss teleport. 
Yes. X. X squeeze me. What the fuck? What? 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 This wasn't a boss tele- I'm so annoyed and confused. I went through a red portal. Where did you take me? And you made me fight a really annoying boss as well. But I always get hit again, so I've lost so much HP now. I better be near the boss, because that is some premium level bullshit. Okay, I am good. But I lost way more health than I should have done because of that. I don't even know if Brainworm works with this trinket. Dude, what the fuck? That guy grabbed me. That was way too early, sadly. Oh, dude, I, I've mistimed all of my bombs so far. This is annoying. I've removed large portions of the floor. I don't think it was wise of me to do that. I kind of forgot I had Stranger Tracks this whole time, you know? It's kind of just gone unnoticed. It's like background noise. Okay, good. Nice, the holes just fill in, that's great. Right. Another teleport. Can you do it for me, game? Can you do it? Can. You beautiful bastard, you can do it. And no hard choices there, either. My god, I was so, like... There's no way I'm gonna finish this run before my meeting starts. But we have two minutes to spare before my meeting, and we are on the final boss. Who'd have thunk? Who'da thunk? Using the mini bombs has not been my wisest decision, but I did it anyways. Dude, who'd have thought I'd finish this in time? Wow, what a run in the end. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.